All right, folks. So I just wanted to do a quick EDC update video. It's been a while since I've done one. There are some new things. There are some old things in this video. Um, but anyhow, before we do this video, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is something that's not pictured here. It's my iPhone 8 Plus, and I keep it in this Magpul case, and I keep it in my right-hand pocket. Um, it's not in the video because I'm actually using it right now to record the video. I think it's really important for people to have a good, capable smartphone that has a good battery life, good reception. You get a variety of applications on there, or apps on there, that allow you to do things like track your navigation, maybe look up information, and uh, you know do things like email and text messaging, which is all really important in today's world. Anyhow, other things that I keep on my person, on my body, these are things that are in my pockets. They're not things that are in my man bag. Uh, I do have videos of what's in my man bag. You can check the playlist linked below to see that. Getting ready to do an update there as well. Um, and I also keep a like a get home bag not quite a bug out bag it's uh, more about uh, being able to get home from my car uh, my vehicle to my house whether it's on foot or whether it's uh, through using the vehicle itself anyhow with that being said let's go and get started this is a Maxpedition wallet and I've had this wallet for about two years it is the Maxpedition Encore RFID blocking wallet this wallet is no longer made if you're interested in the wallet, maybe you can try to find one on eBay or something like that. Um, I do have a video for this on my channel. The second thing I wanted to talk about was this Olight flashlight. And this flashlight was sent to me um, by Olight in exchange for doing the video review. Um, it's a great flashlight. It works off a AAA battery. It's small. It's lightweight. We're in the summertime. Uh, you know, you're wearing shorts. Uh, maybe pocket space is limited. Uh, I want to make my EDC more minimized or uh, smaller than normal, lightweight, and uh, this flashlight fits really good in that strategy. Another thing that I carry, I wear cargo shorts, and I know that it's uh, 2018, and a lot of people are like, bro, cargo shorts are out, you shouldn't be wearing cargo shorts, but you know, I do. I like the pockets, I like the utility of cargo shorts. Um, in particular, my favorite are, are 511 Taclite Pros. Um, lots of pocket space, lots of good utility. And I do carry a ham radio with me. This is a 2 meter, 70 centimeter capable Baofeng UV 5R Plus. Um, it also has a FM uh, broadcast reception. And, you know, it's easy. I put it in my pocket. Sometimes during the day I listen to the repeaters, talk to some people I know on the repeaters, listen to FM radio. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of APRS. And you can check my channel for stuff on that as well. Um, two other things I carry is a charging cable for my uh, iPhone that's not in the video. Um, and a headset at Skull Candy Earbuds. Really like Skull Candy Earbud products. Um, I usually burn through about two headsets, three headsets a year. Been uh, using them four years. You can get them for about $20 a pair. Um, quality is really good. I'm really hard on them. That's kind of why I go through them so often. Another thing, it's really important to have uh, power, power supply. Um, you can use the power to supply to charge. Um, rechargeable flashlights, your your iPhone, tablets, things like that. And uh, given it's summer, I'm carrying a little bit smaller power supply. I think it's 5200 uh, milliamps per hour. It's an Anchor power supply I've had for a while. Uh, VanQuest sent me a couple of these branded with their logo. So you can see the logo there. Um, they work out really well. They're really, they're, they're really handy. This one has the, um, I think it's the IQ port, so it uh, automatically adjusts to how much your device that you're charging can pull from the battery. Um, I like it. It's small, it's handy, it's lightweight, and it works out well for me. The next thing, uh, we'll cover the car keys. These are my keys. Um, this is to my, to my vehicle. We have other vehicles in the family um, that I have keys to, but I don't carry my um, everyday carry keychain. One here, I have a backup flashlight. It's, it's an Olight, and I believe it's called the I3, IR, oh, I better slow down. It's the IR3 EOS. Um, you turn the head of the flashlight to get power. It's a little, it's, the flashlight works fine. I think that might be my iPhone that's pick, picking up the, uh, the light kind of goofy. Let me go see if I can go ahead and turn this thing off. Um, other thing is I have the, um, the ASP ASP key defender, and this is a pepper spray cartridge. Um, kind of shaped like a coupon that I can keep on here. And I just have keys to my vehicle 
and some other things that I may need access to. Um, that said, let's take a look at this. This is a Leatherman. It's the um, it's the Squirt PS4, and I've had this thing for years. And I use it all the time. Um, the main reason I carry a Leatherman, and I make a little bit of a distinction between a, a multi-tool like this and a multi-tool like that, uh, Victorinox, this is a cadet in this case, is that it has pliers. Um, I use pliers all the time to get a hold of something. Maybe there's a, you know, it could be a hangnail, it could be a zip tie that I need to pull, it could be, it could be anything. But uh, I really like the capability of having something like this on my person. Um, I do carry a more capable, kind of a heavy-duty uh, multi-tool in my EDC bag, but uh, this is something that's on my pocket. And, and again, I make a little bit of a distinction and a little bit of capability as I increase between things that I carry on my person, things that I carry in my man bag, EDC bag, or things that I carry in a get-home bag. This is uh, one of my favorite knives or pocket knives that I carry. It's a Strider um, SNG. It's a Tanto um, double gunner grip is the texture on the handle there. And uh, that's it. And I get that this knife is beaten up a little bit. People always say to me, they're like, bro, that knife is, uh, that's beaten up. That, that edge looks crazy. You know, I get a lot of feedback on this knife uh, when I post pictures of it or do, do videos with it. That's what a knife looks like when you use it. I know that it's uh, uncommon to see a knife that's actually used on Instagram or YouTube. But uh, this is a knife I've had for a couple years. People bellyache all the time about striders and their lockup and their ability to open them up. But this is a uh, it's a fantastic knife that I've had for years. Carry it often. Um, it's not my most carried knife, but it is a knife that I carry if I ever think I need to do something a little heavy duty. Um, didn't need to do anything heavy duty today, but this is what's been in the rotation for about the last week. And uh, I really like it. All right, we're rounding out. The uh, the last thing, um, people call these multi-tools. Um, I've always just referred to them as Swiss Army knives. This is a Swiss Army um, Swiss Army Cadet. Um, it's a smaller uh, Alox knife, and it is grimy. You can see there's a lot of goo on that knife. But uh, we're really, <laughs> this knife is uh, relegated to uh, kind of repair work. I use a can opener when I'm camping and stuff like that. I need to open stuff. But... Um, there's this flathead bottle cap lifter. I use this all the time, most, mostly for prying things. Um, and I use a blade all the time to open up packages and things like that. Anyhow, that is uh, the EDC, the things that I carry on my body, uh, on my person, in my, in my pockets, on my cargo pants. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody for watching. And I uh, hope you, uh, if you want to see other videos like this of a similar nature, click the like and subscribe button. Thanks, everyone.